Hi guys, welcome to the class 4 or you can say final class of this Inkscape course. In this class we will do some practical designing by using the knowledge that we have gained in the previous classes. We will do these designs in this class. So first of all if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options are turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties. In graphic designing we deal mostly with pixels. So change the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. And simply select on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu. Simply click on this icon for fill and stroke menu. And the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply select on this icon for align and distribute menu. Now you can see both of these menus are appearing on the right side of the screen. Now simply select on this zoom to fit page like this. So first of all we will do this heart design. So select the rectangle tool, hold down the left mouse button and draw a rectangle like this. Now you can see that three icons are appearing on the rectangle. Two are rectangular and one is circular. Hold down the left mouse button on this circular icon. Simply drag this icon to the downward position like this. Now select the selection tool, go to object and select transform. Then go to rotate and set the angle to 45 degrees and select apply. Drag it here, right click, duplicate it and flip it horizontally by clicking on this icon like this. Now select both of these shapes, go to path and select union. Now select the pen tool and first of all enable the snapping, then enable snap to paths and from here enable snap to paths and snap to rectangle corners like this. And left click on this path, again left click on this corner and then left click on this path and press enter on the keyboard. Then select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. Now if you want to differentiate between the parts then simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this black color like this. And now select these bottom parts and press it on the keyboard. Now select this shape, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon and give it some different color like this light red color. And we are done with the heart shape. Now simply press delete on the keyboard and let's continue with the next shape which is letter A. Now select the text tool, left click on the page and simply write that letter A in uppercase by holding down the shift key like this. Now you can increase the size of this letter by simply left clicking on this size and enter the size to say 200 pixels like this. Now select path and select object to path. Then right click on this letter and select ungroup. Now select the pen tool. From here select regular bezier and from the shape select none. Simply left click on this corner, again left click on this corner, again at this corner and simply complete the shape by left clicking on the first corner like this. Now assign it some solid color like this yellow color. Now select the selection tool and select both of these objects, go to path and select difference. And now you can see that the front body is subtracted from the bottom one. You can increase the size by holding down the control key and holding down the left mouse button on one of these handles and dragging the mouse in outward direction like this. Now simply press straight on the keyboard. Now we will design this simple shield. So again select the rectangle tool, hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in outward direction like this. Now you can see that three icons are appearing. Simply select the circular icon and drag it toward the corner like this. Now select the ellipse tool and make sure that snap rectangle corners must be enabled. Now hold down the left mouse button at this corner and drag the mouse towards this corner. Now change the color of this circle to say this blue color like this. Now select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. Now to differentiate between the parts, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then left click on this black color like this. And you can see that now you can differentiate between the parts. Simply select these bottom parts and press delete on the keyboard like this. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now you can cancel the fill by holding down the shift key and left clicking on this cross icon like this. Now select edit paths by nodes tool and you can see that in the middle a node is appearing. Simply select this node, hold down the control key, then hold down the left mouse button on this node and drag the mouse in the upward direction like this. So you can change the color of this shield to some dark color like this black color and now you can see that the shield is designed. Simply press delete on the keyboard. Now we will design this braided rope pattern. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Select the selection tool and here we have the option for the width and the height. Set the width of the rectangle to 500 pixels and height to say 
250 pixels like this. Now you can cancel this transform menu. Now go to fill and stroke menu and reduce the opacity to say 75 pixels like this. Now select this circle tool and select this light red color and hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in outward direction like this. Again select the selection tool then left click on this lock proportions and set the width of the circle to say 500 pixels which is equal to the width of rectangle and press enter. Now to place this quadrant of circle at this corner of rectangle you have to enable two snapping options. One is snap to quadrant and other is snap to rectangle corners. Now simply drag this quadrant of circle towards this corner of rectangle like this. Now right click this circle, select duplicate and drag this quadrant towards this lower corner like this. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select both of these circles with the left click of mouse like this. Go to path and select combine. Now again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select this bottom rectangle with the left click of mouse like this. Then go to path and select division. Now to differentiate between the parts you can assign some different stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this red color like this. Now simply select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Again select this one and press delete on the keyboard. Also for this one and press delete and also this one. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now cancel the fill by clicking on this cross icon. Then go to fill and stroke menu. Then go to stroke style and set the stroke width to say 30 pixels like this. Then go to path and select stroke to path. Now again go to object and select transform. Set the angle to 45 degrees and select apply. Now right click, duplicate it. Hold down the control key and drag it in a horizontal direction like this. Now select the pen tool, left click once, hold down the control key and drag the mouse in downward direction and again left click and press enter on the keyboard. Now simply right click this line, duplicate it and drag it here. Now select this line and select this bottom body. Then go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select center on vertical axis like this. Then go to path and select division. Now simply select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Now hold down the shift key and again select this line with the left click of mouse and then again left click on this shape. Again go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select center on vertical axis like this. Again go to path and select division. Now simply select this part and press delete on the keyboard. Now select both of these parts, go to path and select union. Now drag it here and hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button on one of these handles and drag the mouse in inward direction like this. Now select this create spiral tool, hold down the left mouse button at the center and drag the mouse in outward direction like this. If your spiral isn't appearing like this then simply click on this cross icon like this. Now hold down the left mouse button at this middle icon and drag it in outward direction something like this. Then select the selection tool and select this part and select this icon raise selection to top. Then select both of these parts first go to path and select object to path. Then go to extension select generate from path and select pattern along path. From the copies select repeated deformation type to snake and select all the values to zeros. Uncheck this pattern is vertical and check this one duplicate the pattern before deformation and select apply. And you can see that the braided row pattern is designed. Simply select this spiral and press delete on the keyboard. Now you can design different patterns of your own custom parts. Now select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard. Now finally we will design this android logo. So first of all select this circle tool. Hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in outward direction like this. Simply cancel the stroke by holding down the shift key and left clicking on this cross icon like this. Now select the selection tool and first make sure that this lock proportion must be enabled and set the width of the circle to say 300 pixels like this. Now change the color to some dark color like this red color. Now select the pen tool, left click once, hold down the control key, drag the mouse here and again left click. Select the selection tool, now select both of these shapes, go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select center on horizontal axis like this. Go to path and select division. Left click on this bottom part and press delete like this. Now simply select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner to something like this. Now again select the selection tool and set the width of the rectangle to say 
300 pixels which is equal to the width of the circle and press enter. Now again select this edit path by nodes tool and hold down the left mouse button on this circular icon and drag it like this. Now again select the rectangle tool, hold down the left mouse button and drag a rectangle like this. Again select the selection tool, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this bottom rectangle, go to path and select difference. Now simply hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button on this part and drag it in upward direction like this. Now we have to make some distance so simply disable these snapping options like this. Then again hold down the control key and drag it in downward direction like this. Now if we want to increase the size of this rectangle then again select edit path by nodes tool. Select all of these bottom nodes, hold down the control key on your keyboard and hold down the left click on one of these nodes and drag them in downward direction like this. Now again select the circle tool, hold down the control key on your keyboard and draw a circle like this. Change the color of this circle to say this yellow color and drag it here. Again right click, duplicate it, hold down the control key and drag it in a straight line like this. Now select both of these circles, go to path and select union. Then hold down the shift key and select this bottom semicircle, go to align and distribute menu and select center on vertical axis like this. Then go to path and select difference. Now select both of these parts, again go to path and select union. Now again select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Now select the selection tool, right click, duplicate it and drag it in a direction like this at this point and also at this point. Then again right click, duplicate it and drag it here. Again right click, duplicate it and drag it here. Now simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select both of these bottom rectangles with the left click of mouse like this. Go to path and select union. Then again hold down the shift key and select this bottom body. Again go to align and distribute menu and select center on vertical axis like this. Now select these shapes except these legs and select equal horizontal gaps like this. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now select the pen tool, left click once, hold down the control key and again left click like this and press enter on the keyboard. Then scroll down and select fill and stroke menu. In stroke style, set the width to say 10 pixels and select round joints and round caps. Then go to path and select stroke to path. Select the selection tool and again left click on this and here you can see the handles for the rotation. Simply hold down the left mouse button on one of these handles and drag them like this. Now hold down the left mouse button on this shape and drag it in a direction like this. Again right click, duplicate it and flip it horizontally like this and hold down the control key and drag it in a straight line like this. Now select both of these parts. Go to path and select union and now hold down the shift key and select this bottom body with the left click of mouse. Again go to align and distribute menu and select on this center on vertical axis like this. Then go to path and select union and you can see that the android logo is designed. Now you can design each and every shape in Inkscape by using some simple tips and tricks. Now we are done with the basics of Inkscape. I know that I have left many options and menus intentionally or unintentionally because I only want to demonstrate the basics for the beginners. I will keep making the video tutorials in the future and in those tutorials I will try to make cover all of the options about Inkscape. So you can like and subscribe the channel and stay up to date with the upcoming videos. Stay blessed and thanks for watching.